water came up very, very quickly. Hello and welcome to another segment of our survival grab and go. Let's for a moment pretend all the creature comforts in which you've relied on thus far are in a moment gone. Your challenge is to make sure you stay alive long enough to be found. Everything you need is in the survival grab and go. Let's talk about our class two waterproof bag. Very comfortable, very simple to use. It's genius is its simplicity. This gray patch, not just a gray patch, a light reflector. Searchlights, flashlights, you'll be illuminated, you'll be seen. Being seen means you get saved. Inverted 180 degrees, it becomes a flotation device. Now why the colors? Why the red and yellow? If you take this bag, move 200 yards in the forest, you're guaranteed to be seen. One of the things, of course, you need right away is shelter. It's an emergency pup tent. Goes up extremely quickly, is extremely strong. Not only is the nylon waterproof and extremely durable, it's not plastic, it's nylon. If you notice, our pup tent has a lanyard. That lanyard attaches to our paracord line. Why is that important? Water has a cohesion property with its molecules. When it rains and this gets wet, the water will run down the line and simply drop before ever going into the tent. With other pup tents, the line runs across because there is no lanyard. Therefore, the line gets saturated, you're sleeping, you get wet. Wet isn't good when you're trying to survive. The voice in the woods or in any setting in nature doesn't carry well in the woods, it doesn't. Uh, that's why we carry three whistles. This one, which is also a compass, which is also a waterproof container, which is also a signal mirror. Chest whistle fits flat when you're traveling through brush that won't hook on anything. It goes right inside your shirt. If you fall and hurt yourself, to notify anybody, you simply reach up, it's close by, and you can save your life. One of our functions of the 10-in-1 compass set is an emergency whistle as well. Three whistles, one pack, guaranteeing survival. Shovel, extremely light, extremely strong has many functions. Everybody knows shovels, lawn shovels, things like that. You dig in the ground. You don't do that, though, when you're trying to save time, effort. You use your pick. If you're listening to me and you have a survival grab-and-go from another company and you don't have a pick on your shovel, you need to get one of these. You soften the ground first with whatever you need to do. And depending on how deep I want to go, I can continue going. Rotate the pick away. And now your spade shovel will remove that dirt. You'll build your rain wall around your campsite in case there's a downpour, you don't get wet. What else can it do? It has a can opener. If you notice the restoration, included solar blankets, a product developed by NASA. While it looks, may look like a piece of tin foil, much stronger. Such a small blanket on your arm for just a minute or two, you'll immediately feel how hot your arm gets. Something else interesting, and this might look a little funny. While it appears to be opaque, you can see through it. In severe climate, severe weather, you simply put it over your head and you can walk. Infection will kill you faster than lack of water and lack of food. This eliminates that. Also, your choice of cutlery is very important. Um, you don't want to be holding food with your hand, trying to cut it with your knife and take a chance 
on cutting your hand. Again, open wounds in the field is, is not a good thing. Always breaks apart, keeps your fingers away from the sharp end. Also included a multi-tool. Not just your standard multi-tool, there's a hammer, a small hatchet, and really important, a wire cutter. A very overlooked item, but so necessary, work gloves. You want to protect your fingers. You don't want cuts. Cuts get septic. Sepsis can kill you. Para bracelet. What can para bracelets do? They can save your life. Weight rated at 360 pounds. A metal shackle can support tremendous amounts of weight. I keep mine with me always. You never know what can happen. We also have, again, redundancy being important. We also have another fire starter, 30 meters of paracord. A fishing kit, very important with a survival pack as well. You'll never know when you come upon a stream, a lake, or even an ocean where you'll be able to retrieve some fish, some prey, gives you protein, calories, and calories keep you alive. Lighting, very, very important. Batteries, not so important. To alleviate that, a dyno radio. One minute cranking, 30 minutes of light. For those that miss creature comforts, a pan and a holder. Why the two need to separate? You don't want to burn in the woods. In a survival situation, you don't want to be heating water, you don't want to be heating food, and then grab an attached handle and burn your hand. What's important about these meals is that they don't need to be heated. You just need to add water, thus eliminating the stress of having to build a fire, boil water, you simply add water, wait for the food to hydrate, and eat it. Calories are what's important to survive. Also inside our grab and go, purified water. How important is purified water? You can have all the food, all the warmth, all the creature comforts. Bad water will kill you in three days. Now, purifying the water is one thing. Bring enough water to your campsite if you're not living next to a stream is another. Also included is a 10 liter collapsible water carrier. Provided with the bag is a rain poncho. One size fits all and it's hooded. We're not talking just band-aids, we're talking suture closers, we're talking about burn wrappings, we're talking about compression bandages, we're talking about surgical steel scissors, surgical steel tweezers, we're talking about everything you need to stay alive.